What is up guys, it's your boy Rick on that grind cacus and today we are going to be showcasing how to increase your throne world reputation rank with Finch as fast and efficiently as possible. As you can see I have achieved rank 30 which gives me access to all of the different rank rewards. I'm actually not going to claim all of them right now and we'll get to why later in the video but as you increase your throne world reputation reputation rank, you're going to get access to new activities, harder versions of existing activities, new secrets, and so much more. So let's get started. Now, first off, you're going to start obviously at level one, and you're going to enter the first phase of the throne world reputation grind. Essentially, there's two phases. There's leading up to level 15 within your rank, and then there's after. So in that initial grind, your goal is to just go into the normal public event spaces and accomplish and do as many things as possible. And here's what I mean by that. First off, go to whatever public area has a public event in it. Those are going to give you over 100 reputation for completing them, a little bit more for heroic. It's not that big of a deal, so don't think you have to activate heroic. But while you're doing those, while you're farming public events, you can also be doing Doing so much more at the same time. Firstly, you can go and get nearby resource caches and chests both as you're waiting and sometimes you can hop away from a public event and grab one and hop right back. Those are going to give you 20 reputation when you grab those. So you want to make sure that on your ghost you have this specific mod on. It's called Wombo Detector. Detect caches or resources within a 50 meter range, making them very easy to find. Now, while you're doing both of these things, you also want to be grabbing constant patrol missions because as you're doing those public events, as you're going and grabbing nearby resources, you can grab the patrol to kill enemies and get that done at the same time. Every patrol will give you 40 reputation. And every time you end up in the quagmire, make sure to pick up new repeatable bounties and just complete those at the same time you're doing everything else. And that's just the common things. You're also going to find random high value targets. Take those guys down for 40 reputation as well. You're going to find some random deep sites you can activate and get some chests for more reputation from those. There's a lot of stuff you can do to gain reputation, but again, it's about trying to accomplish as much of these things at the same time. And guys, I would highly recommend getting a group. This is possible solo, but with three people, oh my goodness, your rank absolutely flies up. And you're gonna see that teamwork in the background gameplay. We're doing a public event, and we've got someone going out and activating constant patrols. And with three people, these patrols are unbelievably easy. I mean, the scavenge ones, the triangle ones, you can see every time you kill an enemy, it drops those resources for each one of us. So one guy drops three of the objectives, of course we're gonna get that done in just a matter of seconds. Imagine having to get kills, there's three people getting kills, it is so darn easy. So we can constantly be churning through those patrols as we're doing a public event, which at the end, again, we get a big boost in our reputation. And if we see any nearby high value targets, obviously three people ganging up on one makes it super easy to take down. We can all be looking for caches and chests and hey, I got one on me, I got one on me. I actually did hear it recommended that your team should split up and that's gonna let one person, you know, in Miasma grab a patrol when they finish theirs, the next person grabs theirs. But honestly, in my experience, teaming up was substantially more efficient. It lets you turn everything heroic if you want to. By the way, for the brand new one, simply throw the orbs at the moving vehicle, throw enough of them and it will turn heroic. There you go. But again, you're gonna just complete everything way more efficiently with everyone in one area in my experience. Yes, if you're absolutely goaded at the game and you know every single route, you may wanna split up. But if that's the case, why are you watching this video anyways, honestly? So again, team up and try to just do everything in that open world at once 
and your reputation rank will climb really fast. That is, of course, until you reach rank 15. When you do, you get access to Deep Sight Tier 3, so make sure as soon as you hit this rank, go back to Finch and activate this ability, and this is where the farming method changes. Now, what we're gonna do is go after those Deep Sight Tier 3 reward chests, Every single one will give you 200 reputation. So immediately after you grab this from Finch, you can drop down and there's actually a tier three deep site right in front of you. All you need to do is activate it and then shoot the stakes in the nearby tree. They activate and deactivate as you shoot them. Frankly, just randomly shoot them and in no time at all, you'll get it and then grab the chest. From there, you wanna continue forward towards the canal area. As you're on your way, you're gonna see this chest that's actually covered in a cabal almost shield. Activate the deep sight, go through the nearby portal, and then you can grab an arc orb and throw it at this chest after going back through the portal. And there's another easy 200 reputation. But from here, continue forward to the fluorescent canal and keep going forward basically past the entire canal until you get to the Queen's Bailey area. Once you arrive here, keep heading forward, and as you can see, there's another deep sight activation here. So hit this and then shoot the nearby stakes to light them up. I think they are random, so again, it's similar to the first chest you got. Just keep shooting them until they all light up, and then you will get a chest right here. Once you grab that one, there's another one very close by. All you need to do is activate the deep sight off to the right here. Once you do, some platforms appear on this pillar. You can simply hop up on them and grab a chest at the top, as you can see. And then as you continue forward, simply head in here and there's another deep sight activation and that's gonna make these runes spawn around this room. Simply shoot all of them within the timer and you get another chest that spawns. Here's the crazy part. If you go to orbit, it's actually going to reset some of those chests. So go to orbit, head back down to Finch. The first two chests we looked at, they were literally on the way. So obviously I'm going to mention them, but they are not going to be there. They may respawn every daily reset. However, if you continue going forward, the three chests within Queen's Bailey, I think because it's not a public space, as you can see, you can get all three again. So this is now by far the most efficient way to farm your rep. Simply go to Queen's Bailey, grab these three chests one after another, then that's 600 experience and you level up after 1000 experience. So after grabbing them, go to orbit, go back down, do it again. And that's a full rank right there. Every two times you do this, that is a full rank. So this is an insane farming method. Now, while you're farming reputation, you're also probably going to notice you're getting a heck of a lot of throne world weapons. And this is really, really important to mention, guys, because this is also one of the best throne world weapon farms, especially for getting the weapons with deep sight resonance that you're going to need to turn them into the patterns that you can eventually craft. So, that's why I actually recommended not grabbing a lot of the rank ups. Guys, do not grab any of the armor from Finch if you can avoid it. And the reason is because you only get things out of these chests that you have received as a previous reward. So I didn't get a single SMG to drop until I got it as a reward for a quest from the mystery board that Ikora gave me. So once I got that one from doing that quest, I then was getting a ton of them. So again, that means if you don't pick up any of the armor, you will only ever get weapons for doing this, which is amazing for farming god rolls and deep sight again and so on. I only picked up boots and the only armor piece I ever had drop was boots and I wish I didn't pick them up so I'd only have weapons. 
And so guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.